Hey, it's Nick Green, Hollywood on Trail. In other videos, we've talked about what goes in my pack. Now we're gonna talk about how it goes in my pack. On a through hike, it's gonna take you a few weeks, maybe even months to figure out how to most efficiently pack all your gear. And like everything else in life, especially hiking, everybody's gonna be different and do it their own way. But here are a few tips and hacks to help you most effectively organize your pack. Okay, my pack here is a 65 liter Osprey Atmos. Now 65 liters, that's huge, right? Why would you hike with something so big? Uh, first of all, while it seemingly is a big pack, um, you'd be surprised how quickly you run out of room. But packed correctly, there's clearly plenty of space. Second, long distance backpacking is a pretty expensive endeavor. And typically the lighter your gear, the more expensive. So if you're like me and you don't have an endless pit of money to throw at your gear, know that it is still possible to get quality stuff. I've acquired a lot of this gear over time, either free secondhand or as cheap as possible, and it's worked out just fine. Also, I've made my gear last a really long time, so I've, I think I've gotten the best possible return on my investment. Look, there, there's a fair bit of ultralight backpack bullying. Yes, it's really nice to be a little bit lighter, but for me, there's a balance to it as well. Usually the lighter I get, the more sacrifices I've made, either comfort-wise or financially. It's like comfort's up here, weight's down here, and it's like lighter, 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 lighter. Okay, that's a good balance for me. So try things out, find the balance that's right for you, and roll with it. The first thing I do is pack my filtered and filled water reservoir. This is a Camelback three liter that I don't typically fill up all the way, depending on the terrain and where my next uh, water source is. I usually do about a liter and a half, something like that, uh, but it's nice to have the full three liters. I also have an Osprey that I think is great. Most through hikers don't use these types of reservoirs, but I love them. I think they're super convenient, so I always have one with me. So if you do have one of these, I'd suggest packing it first so you don't have to like shimmy it in a little bit later. This goes right in the back here, and cool, that's in there. Next, I have my compactor bag for an extra layer of weather protection. And nothing ever got wet inside my pack on my AT through hike, even though the outside of my pack was completely soaked all the time. My tent and my poles go at the very bottom because clearly I don't need them throughout the day. This is a Nemo Hornet two-person tent, and the poles go right on the side. Next, I have my Nemo Tensor sleeping pad that I stick right next to my tent standing up vertically. Following my sleeping pad, I have my Nemo Disco 15 degree sleeping bag. This is gonna go horizontally on top of my tent and my sleeping pad. My nighttime bag goes next. This has my change of clothes for, for sleeping, my toothbrush, my uh, headlamp, anything like that that I need at night. And of course my journal. And I push that to one side. I learned along the way to keep uh, my pants right on top of that bag and not inside in case I stop for lunch or to take a break and it's really buggy or chilly. I have my pants right on top there. I don't need to go digging through any sort of dry bag for that. And in the colder months, I'll do the same thing with my Nano Puff. Next to the side of my nighttime dry bag, I have my electronics dry bag. This has uh, extra batteries for my camera, my external battery pack for my cell phone and other things like that. And that just stuff's right in there on the side to fill that space. Now I typically fold over my compactor bag because everything that I don't really want to get wet will be under that. Really close to the top, I have my food bag. I've replicated about four days worth of food here. And you can either have a, uh, a dry bag, an ursac, a bear canister, whatever you use for food. But this goes pretty close to the top so you can satiate that hiker hunger whenever you stop for lunch 
or second lunch or need a snack or a second or third or fourth snack, it's right there at the top for you. If I have my stove with me, which I sometimes bring, I sometimes don't bring it, I can stick it right next to the food bag here. Now the thing that goes way at the top for me is the thing I use the most, my camera gear. This is what makes me a little bit heavier than the other hikers, but it's what I love to do most. So for me, it's worth it. I have my camera in here, my microphone, an extra lens, a couple little batteries and SD cards and things like that. Little goodies that I like to bring with me. I try to keep it as bare bones as possible, just bring the essentials, but it still comes out to about five or six extra pounds. I also put my wallet right in the back here. So I always know where that is. So. This sticks right on top. Okay, so that's what goes inside. Clearly we have plenty of room left, so we can go ahead and cinch that up. Now let's explore the outside. I have my little first aid kit right here. Uh, my paracord to hang anything I need. And a flask. Oh, this still has a couple. Yeah. All right, good way to start the morning. And that goes on one side. I have my toilet paper, my trowel, and typically a little hand sanitizer that goes right here on the other side. In my front mesh pocket, if you're so lucky to have one of these, I have everything water related. So my filter setup goes here, my pack cover, a rain jacket. On the side pockets, I will keep a smart water bottle that I can easily attach to my water filter system on one side. Cheap little tripod on the other side. In my hip belts, I will keep a knife and some snacks in one and my phone and some headphones in the other. This is my buff slash my gross everything towel. So I typically just stick that right in the front mesh compartment too. And last, but certainly not least, my Crocs. These go right on the front and I do a little crisscross method to make sure they're nice and secure. So whenever you get to a stream or stop for lunch and wanna air out your feet a little bit, these are right here for you. The first thing I do when I get to camp is take off my gross and probably wet hiking shoes that I've hiked 25 miles in right off and put these bad boys on. And that's it. Now when you get to town and do a resupply and some laundry and have a good old fashioned bag explosion, you'll know exactly how to pack it back up. And clearly you're gonna come up with a way that works well for you and you'll probably tweak it all along the way and for the rest of your life. So you don't have to get too committed to it now. So go ahead and comment below and let me know how you loved or more likely hated how I packed my bag. And if you have an awesome system, please let me know so I can go ahead and steal from it. Now, however your pack looks, just get out there and remember, if you can't carry it in your pack or in your soul, you don't need it.